To get the passenger window to auto up, first you need to lower the windows by about 10 mil. This will stop the windows from catching on the door after you've taken the switches out. Next, get a hard plastic tool or a trim tool and just lift under and pop. Slide it along and it will just pop out. Keep your two fingers under there, lift out. Next, disconnect the looms so you can remove the switches. Now that you've removed the looms, you can then move on to the passenger side. To do the passenger side, you do exactly the same. Get your tool, lift under, pop it out, hook your fingers under there, lift out, remove the looms. To remove the looms, all you need to do is press down on that tab and pull out. Once you've removed your switches, take them inside, get your plastic trim removal tool, slide it in the hooks and pop them out. There's four tabs on each switch. Now with a very sharp knife, take the passenger window switch. I've already done mine. As you'll see, on the left and the right, there's two tabs. Cut these two tabs off and that will allow you to pull the switch up to the second click. Do the same with the driver side switch. On this one, you'll see there's lots of little tabs. Again, I've already done this on mine. Just use your knife, cut them off, and you'll get the auto click. Now reassemble your switches by pushing them in. It's the same with the passenger side. Just right back in. Now reinstall your switches in reverse order. Put your looms in first. Tuck under. And press. Same with the passenger side. Clip your looms back in. Tuck under there. Press. Once you have completed this, you'll probably need to reset your windows. What you need to do, turn your ignition on, bring your windows all the way down. Now bring them all the way up and hold for three to five seconds. Let the windows come down and they should come up automatically. Test the passenger switch down automatically, up automatically. Now with the driver side switch down automatically, up automatically. Thanks for watching.